Hey, so have you considered investing in real estate, but you're not quite sure how to get started or what to invest in? I mean, there's so many choices, right? You've got single family, you've got multifamily, you've got self-storage, you've got shopping centers, you've got raw land, you've got office space, you've got retail, and you've got industrial, and that's just a few, there's so many. So how can you choose which one you should invest in? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about my favorite investment class and why I love it and why I think everybody should have a fair amount of their net worth in it. And so stick around, it's gonna be great. We've also got a great quote at the end, so stick around till the end. Okay, so we're gonna run the gauntlet here. We're gonna go through these one at a time. We're gonna go through each of them. So single family rentals. So if you have more time than you have money, sometimes single family can make the most sense because it allows you to leverage your time. You can actually get in there and maybe you're doing some of the repairs yourself or you're farming that out, but you're able to put a little bit of money down and kind of work and do that. That can make sense. Some of the disadvantages are it doesn't produce a lot of cash flow. You may have to have multiple houses going and it can be a lot of work. It's very labor intensive. Another thing that is it's typically not as scalable. It's very difficult to do it with you know 50 houses or 30 houses to do it. It basically becomes another job. So those are some of the advantages and disadvantages of single family. So next is retail. So retail can be a great option for some people. It's really been hammered pretty heavy during COVID, after COVID, and especially in certain areas, if you're in an area with a lot of COVID restrictions or you're looking at investing in those areas, this really depends on where you're at in the cycle. So investing kind of has a cycle, kind of how things are going, and retail has a real cycle. It's very cyclical, and it really depends on the deal, the type of deal that you're getting. Next, we have raw land. So I have a friend who bought some raw land in Los Angeles on a hilly area, and the zoning became very complex to basically work with the city and it's sometimes a multi-year process to do it and very expensive to get the permits and then you build and so that can actually add to the risk just because it takes more time or do you want to sell it there's a lot of speculation that goes with land sometimes people are successful to get things rezoned or to get them changed it requires a lot of special knowledge and a lot of people that do it have a real specialty in that particular niche some people flip land they do different things with it but again it really takes a lot of special knowledge to be good at it. Next we have mobile home parks. Now I love mobile home parks not to live in but to invest in because the returns are great. I do know a couple mobile home operators and they both carry weapons as they go to the mobile homes just to kind of make sure that they're okay and I'm not saying that's necessarily every mobile home park but there are some rough mobile home areas. There's something unique about mobile home parks where typically the supply is actually decreasing every year by something like 1% per year because there's this idea of not in my backyard. People don't want new mobile home parks to be created, which makes it to be more scarce, and there's some real opportunity there to invest in mobile home parks. Over the last several years, we've seen a lot of interest, particularly on the institutional level, in mobile home parks that have actually caused the prices to go up substantially. So it can be more challenging to find a deal. If you look hard enough, there are always deals available, but mobile home parks are very interesting. Next is my favorite. This is multifamily. So I'm talking large multifamily, typically 100 units or more. You get really professional management. You can be passive if you want. Some people do them actively. They take down these big buildings. They're able to invest. I love it for several reasons. The returns are awesome. The risk is low. Single family and multifamily, when you compare them, the large multifamily had a 10 times less default rate in 2009. That's just staggering. We think 10 times less. So very, very low risk investment, very high returns compared to the stock market or other things. And there's the ability to be passive. You also get depreciated tax losses, which you can use against gains that you get in the property, which is really substantial. So I love multifamily. It is truly scalable, meaning you can be, I know one guy that has invested in over 70, 70 deals which to me sounds exhausting, but um, you know, he was able to do it. And we're talking quite a bit of money on all these different deals he was able to put in there. So that's why I love multifamily. I think it's something that everybody should consider. And you know, it's one of my passions to talk about. Okay, so now we're gonna share the quote that I promised you. This is, comes from Robert Kiyosaki. He wrote the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And it says, the rich don't work for money, they work for assets. And so what this is saying is that wealthy people, they're not necessarily looking for more money. 
from jobs are looking for things that actually are going to create more wealth over time. And that's what assets such as real estate and specifically multifamily will do. If you're interested in hearing more about our deals within multifamily, we have a fairly large portfolio, 800 units that we're doing. We speak with investors all the time. We're constantly looking at new deals within just some exciting Southern markets that we're working in. You can reach out to us, bronsonequity.com. You can join our B Investment Club and get on our deals list and we'll let you know when we have new exciting opportunities coming up. Secondly, I've got this report that I wrote that I think you'll like. It's called the Single Best Investing Strategy strategy during and after a pandemic. It talks some of the reasons I mentioned here more in detail about why multifamily should be considered in any portfolio. So make it a great day. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next video.